Hello everyone, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Fatal Force: Tragedy of the Lone Wolf Arc. So the last place we left off, uh, Mickey decided to dress up as a cop and do some JoJo poses, and he got really, really angry at us. And uh, well, I don't know. I'm a little skeptical of him now. Mickey, you can Mickey, you're better than this. Come on, man. But anyway, guys, let's jump right back into it. Please enjoy for the next 20 minutes. Let me entertain you, and let's jump right in. Alarm chain, you are up. All right, let's go. All right, here. This is all I really need. Oh, the hellish lake case. Yeah, I remember this. That poor family. Even a year later, we're no closer to solving that case. Are you sure you still want to use this as part of your assignment project? It's somewhat incomplete. Uh, yes, yes, indeed. I was curious about the case and wanted to use just a small piece of it for a part of my assignment. I see. Well then, Mr. Curious, give me a moment and I'll have the reports ready for you. It'll take a while, so please wait here, or feel free to explore the library and take a read through some of the books in our collections. Okay, sure, thank you. Oh, well, one more thing. May I ask a bit of a silly question? Yeah, sure. Uh, is there any section which discusses, well, supernatural things? I mean, like, books that talk about the supernatural. She gazed at me, puzzled. She was trying to figure out what I was trying to ask for. I mean, he pretty clearly said it. You mean as in horror fantasy novels? We have plenty of ghost story novels around here. No, I meant like a cyclopedia of some sort? Ah, I see now. Yes, we have a section on the supernatural like werewolves, wendigo, and wishes. It's on the second level to the left in the red sector. The red sector. It should be in there. Jeez, uh, thank you. You're welcome, though I'm curious now. Why the interest in the supernatural? Haven't heard anyone else who has asked for this before. Oh, I kind of just have a habit of reading stuff like that to pass the time. That's an obvious lie, though. She didn't seem to question it. Oh, well, if that is your taste, I'll return to finding the records. Enjoy the books, Mr. Curious. She chuckled and departed. I suppose it's time to do some research on what's up with the supernatural in the meanwhile. I headed, to the, I headed up to the second second library floor and found the red racks. It's all blanketed in, ru in dust and rust. <laughs> in dust. It's weirdly ominous. I suppose it makes sense given most people would dismiss these supernatural topics as mere fiction. Yet I'm, a, yet I'm a werewolf now, and the time until the full moon is quickly approaching. I need to prepare myself. I begin to sift through the books that reference werewolves. There. There seems to be so many. There seems to be so many books on the supernatural. Vampires, demons, zombies, blood mirrors, a list of curses from Japan, West Western horror and murder. Hmm. Who the hell is writing these books? I noticed that a lot of the books seem to share one author name, though. DL Stars. Hmm. Eh, yeah, whatever. I shouldn't care too much about that now. I continue to sift through the shelves until I find a book on werewolves, slotted just below the book rack. It looked old and had a dark brown cover. I take the book back I take the book and lay it down at a nearby table. Alright. I'm really hoping that this will help me. I begin to read through. This certainly doesn't seem like the werewolves that I've read or that I've read about in novels or watched in movies. Oh god, here we go again. The furry fandom. It's stated that werewolves are a form of curse which originates from human sins by killing innocent ones. Human sins? That's new. I continue to read on, though. It told the story of a human who killed animals for sport, entertainment, and to sell through the black market. The hunter seemed to find enjoyment in killing animals and would return every hunting season. His main target? Wolves. He'd even kill pups. One day, he had killed all but one wolf in, the, in one of the woods he hunted in. He followed it until he finally found it. He captured it and torched it for his own amusement. That's horrible. Under its last breath, the wolf uttered a Okay, so the wolf speaks English, okay. Under its last breath, the wolf uttered a prayer that the misery and cruelty of humans put on the wolf kind shall finally be repaid with a curse. The wolf bit the hunter before dying shortly after. At the time, the hunter had not felt anything out of the ordinary, only a bit of pain from the bite. Until the next full moon rose, the hunter transformed into a beast. He killed his family, ate them all, and continued to attack others. Every time a werewolf bit a victim, the curse would be passed on. It's awful, but it makes sense somehow. It reminds me about something Draviar mentioned to me. The wolf's prayer. A human who turns into a werewolf loses their ability to retain their identity, and devolves into a beast whose only aim is to hunt and kill. But there are some rare occasions. 
A human under the right circumstances can control it. This, I need to read this. It might teach me something before the full moon comes. All right, let's see. The human heart is divided into two sections, good and evil. Each side coexists, and there are triggers which cause a person to switch between the two. These swings are... Wait, this feels familiar. Pendulums, the feeling of disarray within the heart. Arrow! Uh-oh. Oh, that was cool. During these two weeks, you need to find your arrow. Arrow? Hmm. How do I describe this? People are easily swayed by triggers. Your heart is almost like a pendulum. It will sway back and forth between emotions with little certainty. An arrow is like a guide. A guide for you to strive for good, even during times when you're turning corrupt or losing control of yourself. It could be a keyword or just something that you're connected to dearly. Like a loved one. Once you find it, you should be able to control yourself. I don't really quite get it. Is it supposed to be like an anchor? Javier scratches his head. Let's see. Mm, take an example. Anger management. After people get angry, they usually go to something to vent off the anger or distract themselves. A coping mechanism. What would you do? I somewhat get what he means now, I guess. I've always ignored it and just played video games. Right, like that, basically. For an arrow, though, you need something more than that. A really strong one. It can be a memory, a good one, of course. Strong memories. I... A tear started to creep down my cheek. I can't control it. It just doesn't make any sense. I hated him, how he had been treating me, but just... Are you alright, Nary? I shudder alert. Gwen appeared out of nowhere all of a sudden. I wipe my tears and look at her. I'm... I'm okay. I'm okay. Hey, you don't need to hide it. I know what happened. It was all so sudden. Honestly, it's... I feel it's rather weird. Yeah, I can't really deny that. What are you doing here, Gwen? Oh, I was just accompanying Linda to find a couple books. We did eventually find it, but she wanted to use the restroom quickly. Also, why are you here? What's with you reading all this creepy fantasy stuff? She lifted the book cover and peered at the front. It's it's to just, uh, relieve my stress? Seriously? Lame. Come on, you could do better with your lies. She chuckled. Gwen, can I ask you something? Hmm? Sure. I know this is kind of a silly question, but, uh... Hey, go ahead, try me. She smiled at me. I mustered my thoughts. D do you think that werewolves exist in the world? She slowly breathed in and looked at me. Did you know inside us there was a white wolf and a black wolf? I mean, it sounds like a Tuesday for me. Ah, stop it. No, naughty. Okay. <clears throat> ah. Uh, you're not answering my question, Gwen. Technically, that question is my answer for your question. She chuckles and begins to put the book back. You always like riddles, don't you? Sort of. But remember one thing. The things you believe in are always a trigger for something unexpected. Wait, what? You'll find out soon. By the way, I need to go find Linda. She's taking rather long in the restroom. She winked and left me with dusted books. Somehow she feels rather fishy. I don't know why, but I feel like she knows something about what's going on. I'm starting to remember something that Mickey told me before he vanished. It really annoys me when I remember that. Oh, there you are, Mr. Curious. I was almost shocked when the librarian lady showed up so suddenly. Ah, sorry, I didn't notice. Nah, it's okay. Here's the information you wanted. It might not be as much as you would like, but it certainly is better than nothing. She chuckled and gave me a brown file. Thank you, and yeah, I think this is enough. I'm glad. I'll go back to the counter if you need anything else. Uh, sure, thank you. She left while I was starting to read the re some, report on the, some report on the case at Hellish Lake. What? I trembled after having read part of the report. A family is having a vacation until some accident occurred when one of the family members got brutally murdered. The case states it was happening on a full moon night. This must be it. A werewolf. The one that bit me must be the same one who killed that family. Wait a minute. Now I get it. I must find him quickly. I rushed outside, bringing those brown files with me. <gasps> what the... When I was at the front of the library door, suddenly the place changed into some kind of red color. I'm not sure if my eyes had a problem. And the, librarians, and the librarian seems to not notice something, something is changing around here. I use my enhanced sense of smell to find a specific scent. I try to focus and finally know where it is. Without wasting time, I follow the scent I picked up. It leads me to some boy's locker room. 
Basically, the room is changing for boys who want to change and bathe after playing a specific sport. Nary? I jumped a little and locked in the corner and, and looked in the corner to the, to the side. Oh my god! Dear god, I knew you were still alive, Timmy! Hmm? Please! Someone attacked my family last night! It killed my parents, Nary! He's trembling and crying, still afraid after all of what happened. Shh, it's fine. Calm down there. I, I mean, who attacked? It's, it's a monster! That monster killed my family, two of them! Help me, Nary! I started to panic when seeing him like this, too afraid. Don't worry, as long as I'm here, you're going to be... A girl scream. Ah! <laughs> I can't do a girl scream. <laughs> what the heck? Ah! They're here! He screams and runs away from me. Timmy, wait! I tried to catch up to him, but he is a lot faster than I am, quickly making me lose track of him. Even when I tried to find his scent, I couldn't. Something was blocking me. Damn it! I keep running and wandering around the academy. The weird part is, where is everyone? How come suddenly there are no people around here so suddenly? An enchantment? Probably got pulled into a pocket dimension. That's probably why you can see Timmy. <sighs> I need to hurry before it's too late. Gosh, Timmy. Gosh. Who says gosh? Gorsh. Where the hell are you? I need to calm myself and take some breaths. I need to think logically about this. If I were too afraid of something that haunts me, where would I go? Especially at a time of panic. Ah, that's it! A wide area! I rush to go outside and simply hope that I could meet Timmy there. There's no one, and why is the sky turning dark red? Suddenly some red liquid drops onto my nose. Wait, red liquid? I slowly look up and see something horrible that for a split second takes my makes my heart stop. <gasps> oh, shit! Oh my god. L Linda? I saw her twisted body entangled with some wire on the side of the building. I immediately wanted to puke. Ugh, ugh. She must have fallen from a very high place in the academy to end like this. Still gathering myself, I see Gwen at one of the upper floors. Did she? No way. I also saw Timmy there with her. Damn it! Once again, I ran and used all my energy to reach that floor before it's too late. I finally arrived on the floor, and I saw a door wide open, slowly walking and entering that room. Whoa! Gwen, what the hell are you trying to do? I saw Gwen pointing a gun at Timmy. She seems to shake. I had to do this for mankind's safety! MC, please help me! Stop! I quickly run towards Timmy and stood between him and Gwen. Are you insane? Gwen, he's our friend! He, you have no idea who he is. I mean, really is. Actually, I already know who he is. He's a werewolf. Wait, what? She's still pointing a gun at me, but she seems to doubt my statement. Yes, and you can come out now. You heard me. Draviar. Neri, look. I don't need your damn reason anymore. You're such a terrible liar. The whole thing is already clear. I threw the file about the late case to Draviar. He seems not to be interested in really checking it, only looking at, at it landing at his feet. I know all about what happened at the Hellish Lake and the family that was murdered there. It was what you've been doing all along, isn't it? Neri, you need to list. Shut up, you damned wolf! You lied about that family case. Actually, there were two families at Hellish Lake. And the report, one of the families is Timmy's family. I figured. Timmy and his family were werewolves from the beginning. That time on the Hellish Lake was a full moon. They lost control and killed the other family. Which leads you and Mickey to investigate and hunt his family. Gwen, I also know you're working with Draviar. You keep giving him me weird riddles, and Draviar also did mention that there is someone who is watching me at the Academy. Then when I asked you about the werewolf thing, you answered with a question about a black and a white wolf. That, conf that, conf that confirms to everything about you. Neri, you need to listen to what we wanted to say. You had the wrong idea here, and... I look at Draviar, still feeling annoyed and angry about all his lies and acts. That's enough, Draviar. I had enough with your bullshit stories. Just... Please! All I did, all I did and do is to keep you safe and away from... Draviar tried so hard to explain something to me, pointing to Timmy for some reason. From him? My friend Timmy? Oh, great! Want me to be safe and lose my friend? It's because my face resembles someone who you knew a long time ago, huh? Wait, what? What the... Just quit acting, Draviar. I thought you really were a good and honest guy that wanted to help me. Ah! I sigh, remembering the Black Knight chess piece that he gave me. Too bad that I'm just a lab rat for you. 
I thought meeting a real furry beast was going to be great, turns out. Just a lone wolf who is desperate for attention and unable to move on from the past. Oh. No wonder he left you! The fuck? Oh, he threw a fucking chess piece at him! Don't do that. Aww! Without another word, I threw the I threw the piece of black knight uh, through the black knight chest piece of Draviar, hitting his face in the process. I'm not him, Draviar. I'm not the same guy. That's the fact. Just move on. Oh God, I hate Draviar crying. It's awful. I looked at him sternly. I could see tears start to pour down his face. He just stood there, motionless. He's not showing any kind of emotion. Like he's in shock, just having more and more tears flow down his face. Suddenly. Slap! Gwen got close to me while I was ranting, slapping me in the face with a gun. You are such an idiot! Timmy grabs my hand, shaking from seeming, from seeming shock at her actions. Gwen, please! You should listen to us and stay away from it. He is not Timmy anymore! I know, he's a werewolf, but it doesn't... Open your eyes, Nary, he's not even a werewolf! What are you talking about? Eh? And mine starts to process everything and seems to point out Mickey's warning. Do you recall the police that the police had regarding your friend's passing? It said that he killed his parents at the House of Blaze just before committing suicide. Don't you notice what's so odd about that? Why go through the trouble of setting his house on fire and then proceeding to hang himself? And who would know he was the one that set fire to the house just hours after investigations began? Whisper, whisper. Stay safe, everyone, and beware of the bloodlust treat. <laughs> I'm surprised this doesn't have that sound effect going on. Listen to this whisper. It seems we should be aware of something, judging by the speech that happened in the hallway. Remember when he mentioned death? That ain't something you usually hear in these types of speeches, is it? Second, the lines he was reciting were f coming from the Lincoln Park song. Or, well, two for that matter, but he spliced it together in a way that didn't seem particularly arbitrary. And, of course, lastly, he literally said, Beware of the bloodless treat. I am your inner mind. Ah, oh, my makeup is ruined! She ran off to the left. She seems she was headed off to the female laboratories to fix up her face, if you could even call it hers anymore. What the fuck is these random things? You'll be protected from the force of darkness so long as you provide a piece of candy as a sacrifice. Timmy, what happened to you, man? I, what the, he looks so messy. Lifeless, he kind of has that toilet stall stench as well. Listen to this whisper. Memento Mori, the two songs of desperation. And lastly, the lone wolf's revenge. Memento Mori, remember how you died? After remembering those memories, I began to realize everything was already too late. Slowly, I turned to face Timmy, seeing him staring, starting to change. Ah! Timmy's expression began to change into a sinister smile, looking at me. W Wendigo! Too bad! Slash. Timmy impaled me with a quick motion, using some kind of a long knife. Ah, t Timmy! Nary! Drav- Ah! Uh, uh, uh. I looked over where Javier stood before, filled with desperation and not yet settled in fear, but he was gone. Ah! The long knife was pulled out of my body, making me quickly fall to the ground, blood pouring from my wound. Oh well, Nary, you're a really good friend to me. He chuckled, licking the remaining blood off the knife. H how When? Hmm, werewolf blood tastes awful. I prefer something fresh. Since you are all gonna die, since you, what is that? Gwen keeps unloading on Timmy, not doing anything to him until that until that's heard as the clicking of an empty gun. Are you done already? Ugh. Well, back to the stories of once upon a time. My family had some kind of vacation for me. Yep, hellish camp. You know what? My parents were dicks. They thought if they brought me there, they could train me about survival and strength, so people won't bully me. Until in the lake, my parents forced me to swim, even though I couldn't swim. They gave me a fake life jacket. Oh yes, and I died of drowning. <laughs> the funny part is, 
My parents kept ignoring me until one night they realized it didn't show up again. Both of them started to panic about having killed their son. Th they found your body and buried it? Ah, that's it. But they didn't realize that the place was once a holy ground, or well, cursed ground, rather. They buried me at the front of the demon tree. Yeah, I woke up after that. My parents were shocked to see me, but I, present but I pretended to be nice to them. Finally, I made a nice family vacation by enjoying the flesh. But it didn't take long for the wolfies to show up, so I ran away, hiding in the lake. Then I was thinking to meeting to meet you. So I became a kind of dead body submarine. <laughs> Until I got to the academy, then I hid. You were hiding in the washroom and I met and I met and you were hiding in the wa in the block. You were hiding in the washroom and met Jennifer. It was coincidental to meet her, and even she kept insulting me back then. Hmm. Yeah. I chopped her into multiple pieces and put them into some boxes in the cafeteria. I washed myself. I washed myself, and then I met you, Nary. Hmm. When I returned to having my snack, I just saw another white wolf already having found it. That's the time when Mickey found Jennifer's body and came to us. Gah! What? Why are you doing this? Did you also kill Linda? Why? Oh, Linda. She was always so nice to me. It's because she wanted to use me. Always another assignment for her to do. Notes to prepare. So I went and repaid her for all the things she did to me. With a fun free fall adventure for her. <laughs> but I heard the scream. You, you were with me back then. It was me. And I saw when I saw Linda's body hanging. And you should, guys should have listened to her marvelous voice before her death. <laughs> so damn nice. But you all need to die. Starting with you, Nary. And I know you are a werewolf, but... I rather want to play with you, slicing off your flesh nice and slow. I still can't believe it. I was with him all along. What has he become? My friend so long kept down by all around him, dying to his parents' carelessness just to return to this thing to exact revenge. Let's play. Oh! Fuck! Eh? I'm not sure what happened, but I saw another werewolf standing in front of me, holding Timmy's head. Oh, his body now, headless, slowly sacked down beside me, just before having the chance to stab me again. Ah, nice! It seems like the plan worked, and this thing, ah, yuck. I still don't get it. Since when was that werewolf pulling out Timmy's head? Did he have some kind of super speed? Ha, ah, I have to real quick this time. Mickey! Here, here's the thing you wanted. I saw Mickey bring some huge metallic container, and I can smell petrol? Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right here, guys. I gotta get this video up today. Gotta let it render, and then upload, and then process if I want it to go up. Alright, guys, thank you so much for watching. Wow, that was a fucking action-packed episode. Well, I would say action-packed. I'd say there were some crazy revelations at hand. I really didn't guess that about Timmy. Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> That was really cool. Oh, man, good twist. But thank you guys so much for watching. It's been another episode of Fatal Force. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and leave a super thanks if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!